We'll do that. And then... Now we pass. Now, I would argue, they're not in a good spot. Hey guys, welcome back to Deeps TCG. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be covering Cloth Tarapagos. This deck wasn't really a thing until just recently in Sacramento, where it was piloted to a top 24 finish by Richard Yano. This is actually just exactly his list. We have the Cloth with Unhinged Scissors. This has been a deck before with Brute Bonnet, and now we're still playing it with Brute Bonnet. But we have Terrapagos as a alternate attacker with its unified beatdown. We can attack pretty early in the game, dealing big amounts of damage, not to mention in combination with all the poison that we're going to be afflicting to our opponent its attacks do quite a bit more. So Unhinged Scissors is our main attack here. Does 30 damage, plus 160 more damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition. So in this case, it is Poison, and we are playing a lot to enforce that Poison. We have the Petrant, we have the Brute Bonnet, uh, and to increase the damage, Radiant Sneasler, in order to actually cause it, we do need the Ancient Booster Energy Capsules, but yeah. We're basically just trying to get Poison off on our opponent, that way, our cloth is going to be doing big damage, and our Terrapagos will have some fallback as well with its unified beatdown attack bolstered by the poison. It's a pretty deadly mix, especially if you consider binding Mochi, where if our active Pokemon is poisoned, then it does more damage to our opponent's Pokemon. We do play one Blood Moon Ursaluna as a finisher, and an Electrode as an alternate attacker, which can knock out Charizard pretty easily, especially with the super effective glasses that we're playing here so all of its attacks are doing three times to charizard so pretty strong attacker there especially considering it takes no energy to do uh we do play one luminion and a squawk and a fez all of these are consistency boosters the orangaroo seems like an interesting choice here obviously letting us search for tool cards but they are pretty necessary when you consider that brute bonnet needs the ancient booster energy capsule we want binding mochi all of these things two forest seal stone just in case one is prized super effective glasses there's a ton of tools in this deck orangaroo helps us grab those and it's not going to get stranded because we play a latias ex which also works pretty well in combination with Petrunt. So subjugating chains, we can switch in something like a Petrunt on turn one, for instance, and maybe even donk something with its toxic subjugation. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Pokemon. As far as trainers go, we got three Arvin, three boss. Uh, these are pretty standard. The boss count might seem pretty high, but we really do want to be taking key knockouts. Arvin, tool cards, as we mentioned before, as well as item cards, which we do play quite a few of, including Precious Trolley, which is our A spec of choice, allowing us to grab a ton of Pokemon and boost Terrapagos's attack quite a bit right away. As far as the Carmen goes, just consistency, we want to be setting up real fast, especially in the case where we can get off a Donk first turn. As far as one of supporters go, we do play one Iono, uh, one Research, which are both going to be our draw supporters alongside the Carmen. Uh, we do play one Corsus Tenacity, since we only play four energy and all of them are special, it's pretty handy. We are also playing four of the Area Zero Under Depths, so that helps us grab that. The Briar allows us to take some cheese knockouts, especially at the end of the game. As far as Pokemon Search goes, four Nest Ball, two Ultra Ball, two Hisuian Heavy Ball. Pretty big count of Hisuian Heavy Ball, but we do play a lot of Pokemon and quite a few one-ofs that are pretty important, so we don't want to be missing those. We play Night Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. Switch card to switch them in if our Latias is in some dire situation or we don't have the Petrant. We also play one Lost Vacuum uh, to get rid of other stadiums or tools. And like I said, we do play just four double turbo. So that's pretty much the deck. Before we go into the games, just want to see if you could subscribe. It helps us out a ton. We've been seeing a lot of growth as per the usual, and it's all thanks to you guys. So if you could help us out that way, it helps us out a ton. We are on the road to a thousand, but without further ado, let's go check out those games. I will see you there. All right, guys, we're at the coin flip here. We're going to choose heads because I said so. So yeah. And we lose. But that's okay. You never know. Maybe they start a Charmander and I just happen to get a God Hand. Who knows? Who is to say? Well, our opponent will say, totally him. He is totally him. Presumably. They'll go first. So that lessens our chance for a donk, but meh, whatever. 
Who knows? Maybe they're not even going for. Oh, it would have been so funny though. We're so close. We're so close. Oh, thorns, bro. Oh my god. Four mulligans? Holy smokes. Well, yes. It's, okay. That's not very good. I guess it's a good thing I took them. I don't know how I feel about this. Probably pretty good, considering they're weak to my cloth. The, the bigger problem is that I don't have the cloth. But if I can get the cloth, this might be cheese. This might be cheese, indeed. Man, I would love if he played that judge. Maybe a top deck of cloth. I actually need to top deck a lot. Okay, that works. I think that works. Um, do I just go for? Damn, that's a lot. Um, I guess Arvin because I can just grab a nest ball and a thing. Yeah. I forgot about the iron thorns. Shit. I. That's embarrassing. Ah, uh, man. Everybody's laughing at me in the comments. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Sometimes, sometimes you make a mistake. Today is one of those days. You never know, though. Maybe they whiff. Maybe they play the judge. Play the judge. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Oh, my God. I've made that exact mistake at bigger tournaments when other cards were legal, but you know. Clearly their hand is not that good. I'm really upset that I did that. Oh, give it to me, bro. Let me have it. If I top deck an Arvin, this would be silly. Extremely silly. Getting rid of the catcher. Getting rid of the catcher. So embarrassing. <laughs> right on the first game, too. Oh my god, everybody laughing at me. Laugh at me. Do it. I'm a fool. Top deck and Arvin. Man, that is not it. Good news, though. I can actually do this. I should have done it last turn, actually. I can't believe I... Man, today is not my day. That's okay. I do this. Yeah, we do this. We grab a nest ball. And you grab the trolley. Do I need anything else? I feel like anything else is kind of just a liability right now. I'm gonna be knocking it out with an iron, an iron cloth. Wow. This should be fine for now. Trolley might have been worth, but is what it is. Do that. We will switch cart it in. Poison him up. And we just go for it. We just go right in. They will not be attacking next turn, so I'm not concerned about that. And that's kind of clutch. I've already made so many misplays. Laugh at me in the comments. I deserve it. I especially deserve it today, to be honest with you. That was tough. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> At the very least, this is going pretty well. All things considered. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turbo Energize? That's not so good. Good news. I mean, bad news, I guess. Can I? No. Okay, 
Never mind. Dude's throwing. Dude is actually throwing. Do I want to waste it? No. Am I going to? Yes. 100% I'm going to. Toxic powder his butt. God damn. Yeah, I might as well throw the mochi on there just to, for extra funnies. 420. <laughs> this is such an epic matchup. This has to be like a 90 10 for me. The only thing he could do is catch her up anything and then yes. But no. Despite my horrible misplay, that's pretty much an auto win. But you kind of get it. Obviously, I didn't take a very Tarabagos route, but I didn't really need to, so. Hope you get the gist from that one. Check out this other one. We're at the coin flip now, and I'm choosing heads again. And maybe Bingus. Hello, Bingus. Bingus never fails me. Uh, I actually don't know. I think I do. Because I can't attack with Tarabagos anyways, so. There's no reason not to. Plus, I have donk potential. Almost donk potential here. As well. Very nearly donk potential. Give me the ancient booster. Top deck ancient booster. Well, it doesn't matter now. They bench two Pokemon. Uh, well, for now. I do think I want this. And then I will Ultra Ball the Night Stretcher and the boss for a cloth. Attach an energy and then Squawk and Seize. Yes. One of my cloths is prized. Not so good. I can, I can Carmen, technically. Do I want to? Not really. Just because I don't want to lose this energy. So I already got one in there. So I think, unfortunately, as much as I love the potential for a donk, I don't love the potential for uh, not having energy in the late game, so we'll just have to pass. Plus, next turn I can Arvin for something. Probably a, a cart of some variety. Maybe the Terrapagos himself. Looks like a Palkia build of Ledge here. Well, that answers that. But not the Fez, right off the bat. Interesting. Hands pretty empty, it would seem. So. <laughs> need a nest ball. Problem is I need a switch. That's the real issue here. Otherwise, this would be chill. Actually, do I? I don't even need a switch. It's fine. I can stall for a turn. This is actually probably just better. We're taking the trolley route today. Actually, I want to know. Do I still have one more energy? Yes, I do. Very epic. So. I was gonna coal rest, but I'm also bad. So. We won't. Grab those two. Hit him with the old toxic powder. Hit him with the old ass for knockout. Chuffed with that one for sure. Very cool. I'm just into my area zero. Would have been nice. Or I played that trolley, but alas. What can you do? Uh, 
We're in a we're in a pretty decent sitch here. Clearly. Well, they have the Fez. I don't know what's taking them so long. They got rid of two Night Stretchers right off the bat. I wonder if they play three. I do wonder. I wonder if they don't like the prospect of my deck and now they're stalling. Why does this happen every time? This is my homie. This is my homie. There's the Charcadet. They're not even really in a bad spot. I mean, that might be like the, the smallest amount of energy I've ever seen on a first turn from a from a Surreal Edge deck, but you know, you got the Fez. You have three cards in hand. I guess they weren't good if they discarded what they've discarded. <laughs> But uh, I think as far as board development goes, this is feeling a lot better than this. Just the old pass. Suddenly feeling extremely good about this. Let's toss that on there. Might as well. Start the area zero. And nothing to write home about. We're just gonna well, almost almost just pass. We'll do that. And then now we pass. Now I would argue they're not in a good spot. Petra Runt is real, bro. Petra Runt is the GOAT. I think the thing about cloth in general is just knowing like what you have to knock out in order to win against it because there's so many things like if you look at my board right now if you don't knock out the Petra Runt, then I'm gonna brute bonnet if you knock out the brute bonnet that's probably the best choice uh, but I do also have one technically in my hand um, if you knock out the cloth, there's still Terrapagos and a Petrarunt. If you knock out the Terrapagos, there's still a cloth and a Petrarunt. So really, you have to knock out the Brute Bonnet. But it's not exactly hard to get back, so... I guess it's just a matter of managing. I wish my opponent would manage their timer. I will wait. Don't be petty. If you're a viewer of my channel... And I assume you're not petty. So just don't do this, like, ever. I'm here to play Pokemon, not sit down simulator. Rant over. I barely ranted, but it's over now. Guys, ever. What do you guys think about Origin Form Palkia? The Pokemon, not the V. You like it? You like its lack of arms? What about Pheasant Skibbity? Yeah, man. Feeling ultra petty today, I see. I discard a Pokemon? I want to know how fast I can knock this guy out. Let's do this. We have Latios, actually. Latias. I think I said Latios, but I definitely meant Latias. Just toss this up. Hit him with the old toxic powder. Obviously, it still does damage to us, but, uh, you know, why not? Hit him with the old 260. We're in such a, such a commanding position. I don't know why they've just elected to not use their pheasantipity, but, uh, you know.
What decks are you guys playing right now, you know? I've been I've been really on the grind with uh, PGR Control. Hopefully, when I get better at it and like know the lines, I can make a video to explain it to you. If you're interested in that, let me know in the, the, the comments. I'm gonna set the description, but you know. Let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. I know a few of us on the channel are very hardwired into certain decks. Reed loves Reggie Drago, so if you're interested in that, let me know because I can get him on a get him on a teach you type of video about Reggie Drago if you plan on playing that. And there it is, just that easy. Maybe not the most exciting games, but I hope you got a gist of pretty much everything this deck can do because you know there's a it's kind of oppressive once you have enough setup and uh, yeah. Not as oppressive as this segue to my outro. See you there. All right, guys, so that was Claw Carapagos. I hope you enjoyed. It's a pretty funny deck, and honestly, considering you got 24th at Sacramento, it might not be a meme. So take that how you will, but feel free to try it out. The list is in the description. Um, so yeah, feel free to try it out for yourself. We do have a lot of things coming up. We got some funny things coming up. We got some cool things coming up. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got the notifications on. You don't want to miss some of the stuff that we are cooking as well as check out our previous videos if you like. We did just recently do a retro showdown, so if you're interested in checking out 2013 format, feel free to check that out as well as some other tabletop stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next one. Bye. In my lane. Focused. Not benching Luminion against an Iron Thorns. Don't do that.